Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching this one. Today we're gonna have this live demo tutorial about the chunk sharing, the new feature on the YCM. Let's give it a check here. Well, as we know, the architecture of our cloud solution, P-Series Cloud Edition, and also the YCM, the whole thing, it's multi-instance based. So which means previously, if you're going to set up SIP chunks, you have to set up the SIP chunk for these instances particularly. For example, if I have three instances, I'll need to create three different SIP chunks for each one of them. And the thing here is you can see all these SIP chunks, it connects to the same SBC proxy with the service provider. So this is uh, how we're going to make it work previously. Well, the new solution, it will make it be much easier. We don't have to create so many SIP chunks there. This time we will just need to jump into the YCM, create one SIP chunk between the SBC proxy and the ITSP. It will be much easier. And uh, in other words, for our instances, we don't have to give them so many SIP chunks. What we're going to do this time is we're just going to use DID for wording. We will just need to assign different DID numbers to all these instances. All right. The benefits you will have there is so obvious as we can see here. First of all, it will make your job way much easier, improve the efficiency for your management. So you don't have to lock into the instance to manage your SIP chunks. You can manage all this your DID numbers, your SIP chunk through the YCM. And also your deployment will be way much easier. You can simply set up the one shared chunk on the YCM and just configure a whole bunch of DID numbers. And after that, we're just gonna assign the numbers to this instances. And more importantly, this is good for our security because previously, just like I said, all these SIP chunks are connected to the one SBC proxy. So for the service provider side, I mean, on their side, they might probably block the data transmission because it's so suspicious, right? When customers are going to use the PBX to make phone calls, massive of data transmissions are going to send to the service provider. This is so suspicious. So it will absolutely trigger the false blocking. Well, the new solution, we just have one SIP chunk with a whole bunch of DID numbers. That's okay. It will definitely help us to avoid the false blocking. Anyway, now it's the demo time. I will show you how does it look like, how do we configure it. So let's switch it to the live demo. Let's give it a check here. Now we're going to log into the YCM and this feature, it works for the cloud edition for sure. So you click on cloud PBX. As you roll, this is the way how you're going to manage all these cloud PBXs. Nothing's changed. And something new we have here is the chunk sharing. Click on this and you can click on add here to create a shared chunk. Uh, for example, if you click on that, you can set up this chunk, name it, and also choose the region. This one truly matters, actually, because this solution is hosted by Yaster on AWS, as we know. So server nodes are everywhere. You might use some different server nodes to deploy your P-Service cloud edition. So absolutely, if you're going to use the shared chunk for some of your PBXs, make sure it's under the same server node. So this region, it truly matters. And then you can also try to use the ITSP template. Well, as you roll, we can use these service providers from different, you know, countries, regions, and uh, it will just be way much easier. We can use the template to set up the SIP chunk. Or you can also try the general. So which means you're going to set up the SIP chunk manually by yourself. Register chunk or peer chunk, whatever it is, based on the service provider side, right? So anyway, switch it back here. You guys can see this is something I just configured before I have this shared chunk pre-configured. And we can also click on advanced here to do some customizations for, you know, codecs, voice settings, call restriction, and also the SIP headers. If everything's all confirmed, now you click on save, back to the interface. The next step for us will just be the DID management. And here you can click on add to create a DID numbers. Well, to be more precise, not create DID numbers. You will purchase all these channels, the DID numbers from the service provider. So you will simply need to add these DID numbers in the list. And one last step left here for us will just be the assignment. So we click on PBX. We're going to click on details. And here you can see assign DIDs. Check on this and click on add. We're going to distribute the DID number. We're just going to associate the DID number to this cloud PBX. So you can select one DID or multiple DIDs. And after that, check on save.
So that's it. That's how we're going to do the management. That's how we're going to do the configuration. And then, as for the instance, if you log into the instance, if you click on SIP chunk settings, you will see something special. Have a look here. So on the instance side, if we click on chunk, and we'll be able to see this is the shared chunk, which is associated from the YCM. And now you can click on edit. You can see this chunk cannot be editable. This is all fixed. So this is also good for your business package. You can simply set up everything on your YCM, make a package, right? You bound the zip chunk and also the instance all together and provide the ready to go solution to the customer. Okay, so that was all we have with this live demo. Anyway, hopefully you will like it. And if you have any questions or want to learn more details, as you will, visit yester.com.